How it feel to be a dad? How it feel to be a man? Get provide by any means, and we sticking to the plan. Yeah, I do this for my seed. Come and listen, come and see. Remember, it was just me. Now it's all about me. Lead by example. This for my child. I swear that I got you for life. Went from the court to talking about buckets. Now we talking papers and wipes. I really love this though. Look at you and get inspired. You the fuel to my fire. Come here, let me change your diaper. Diaper dash. Yeah. Diaper dad fam, what is good? We are back again, episode seven. Once again, like I said, subscribe, hit the like button, all that shit they say on YouTube. But boy, we back again. What's good, baby? My dog, what's up? First of all, let's before we get this episode started, happy motherfucking birthday, belated birthday. Your birthday was this past Wednesday. We definitely got to get into that. But everything was good, though, uh, on this yeah. past birthday? Yeah, man. Dirty 30, man. Turn to 30 on them. But no, nah, it was good, man. Like I said, my whole plan was I was supposed to be on the beach drinking margaritas. But uh, that didn't ha- that didn't happen, you know what I mean. But uh, it was good. Obviously, me and Jason got the same birthday, uh, so we just took off, chill, relax. We just basically just relaxed, went to lunch, did some slight shit, and then uh, just enjoyed the day, man. You know what I mean. Another year, another blessing. But I got some shit planned up for later this year or early next year, where I definitely ain't gonna oh. be on the beach. We outside, you know bro. I mean? We are outside, bro. But you know what, though, you got that a long time. See, see that? I, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. Exactly what got some mean. long time. So, like I said, man, we talked about it uh, last episode. Not really getting my hopes up. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, "Yo, nah, yo, you gotta do this for your 30. I'm like, "Yo, chill, chill." I know what I got planned, yo. Hey, and, and, and and I, I, I'm limited right now. <laughs> I, you know exactly. what I mean? I'm limited right now. Just chill. I know how to pump fake and I know how to drive. Don't worry, I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> Don't worry, yo. Hey, that's what's up, bro. I'm glad you had a good, you got a good dirty 30, uh, you know, relaxing, especially when you're a parent. You know what I mean? Like just just getting the peace of mind for your birthday. That's all that, that's all that counts, to be honest. Yeah, man. That's that's that that's really all that counts, man. Like it was a, a good pleasure, man. Just chill, relax. But man, I tell you, man, follow has been going up. Bro, we started. We 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 gained some traction now. I mean, this past week we had a, the, probably our best week so far. So people are starting to believe what we're saying, bro. We started to heat the fuck up. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for us uh, in uh, the bright future we got going. But Doug, talk about this. Let let them in on this new topic we got coming in tonight. Yeah, I was just thinking because we were talking. What well, Wednesday? We were just talking about like what? What should we talk about? And, you know, you threw around baby blues. I I just, I wasn't really thinking about anything, but then I was, I was working. I'm like, yo, what does, talk about like, yo, does a good man, what, hold on, it wasn't a good man. It was like, do you gotta be a good man to be a good father? That's what it was, you know what I mean? And obviously this can go whole different type of ways. You know what I mean? Because everyone has their criteria, what they believe is a good man or, you know, whatever, a boy or husband or whatever. Everyone has their own criteria. But at the end of the day, you know, being a dad, being a parent, you know, kind of falls underneath that one criteria, taking care of your responsibility, being a loving person and just like putting somebody else first. You know what I mean? So that that's basically I, I wanted to really rap with that because. To me, what I think is, I know a lot of people, yo, they're raised differently. They had a different way of living, this, that, and the third. But I don't necessarily think uh, you got to be a good man to be a good father. I I don't think so. And I don't think so either. And I think, and I say that because you, it's just a different feeling you get once you see your child. Like no matter how fucked up your past is, you know what I mean. Not not too many me, not too many men come from situations where they're, you know what I mean. They're blessed and they didn't really have to worry about anything. Um, but like I said, when you see your child, it's kind of like a, a coming to Jesus moment for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see 
this human and you're like, fuck, I got to do whatever I can to make sure this human is good. I know I, whatever I got going on is fucked up, but this, this person, I want this person to be the best well-rounded human uh, that I could possibly encourage. Nah, definitely. Once you start seeing your kid and, and, and see a seed that you actually created, I think people are like, yo, they, they, they immediately, they can change. But then again, there are people that still don't change. They're still on the same shit, same bullshit. But I really, the thing about it is like, like for example, we could say uh, like one of, the, one of the criteria people might say for a good man or whatever is being, uh, having like good morals or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. And obviously, like you thought about it today, you thought we were going to be diving in the, the wholeness that we we did in our past or whatever, <laughs> whatever things we did. And does that, you know, implement us to being a good dad? But I think, man, whatever we did in the past and whatever we did before we had kids, I think someone could always put it past them to be like, yo, fuck it. I got to dig deep and I got to just do what I got to do. I got to take care of my responsibility. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to, you kind of, you kind of got to just say, fuck it. You got to leave. You really got to check yourself at the door. Like that's the, when you, when you step foot in that, uh, in that uh, delivery room, it's kind of like you left everything that you've done in the however many years you've been alive is set behind you. And it's like, yo, you come into a new life. Um, you get a new uh, fresh breath of air. Um, you're nervous as fuck, you, but you know, one thing's for sure is that you can, you just, you, I feel like you automatically try not to fuck up, if that makes sense. Like you, Always. You try. Even a car ride home. Even a car ride home, niggas is driving like this. Bro, we live two blocks. Bro, we live two blocks in San Diego. We moved two blocks away from the hospital, bro. We stayed at the hospital three nights. The funnest three nights. It was fun as in the most craziest three nights. Uh, but I drove, I was, I drove, as she was in the car, she just had a C-section, so she can't really move. I got, I got these two new ass humans in the back that have been alive for 72 hours. I got, or been in the world for 72 hours. I'm driving like this, like, yo. And then I got home, we got home. I was like, yo, bro, what do I do? Like, I'm so used to nurses coming in and shit like that. But yeah, it, you definitely. Yeah, you get that first, that first day, man, niggas be, uh, <laughs> You get home, you're like, man, what do I do again? Bro. What What is going on? I remember, you know, quick story. I remember, because they were, because, you know, in the hospital, they give you, like, clothes, like, garments and stuff for the baby to wear. Yeah, and wrap them up. You wrap them up. You know, you got the swaddles. I used to swaddle them like a burrito. I had all that. They gave us little long shirts to cover the hands and shit like that. And the nurse came in one night, and she was like, you know, you can bring clothes from at home. And then I asked her, yo, no bullshit. Like, yo, I can bring clothes from home? And I had to, it didn't register in my mind. They're like, yo, these are your kids. Like you clothe them, you feed them, you raise them. Like you, you got to provide. You, and, yo, you, go ahead, sorry. No, 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 you're fine. No, I was, uh, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was like, yo, you just lose, you lose focus so quick because it's just something so new. So new. And you can easily just like forget everything. Like, like you said, man, you like, yo, Dang, should I bring clothes? She's like, hell yeah, you can bring clothes. These are your kids. Bro, you know how many diapers I changed before my kids were born, bro? And then when it came to changing their first diaper, it took me like five minutes to do that shit, bro. Like, I just Damn, lost bro. everything. Everything I've done in the past, I lost that shit, dog. And I was like, oh, this is, this is, yo, boom, you need to calm the fuck down, You were on your eight-mile shit? Bro, I was nervous. I'm like, all right, got it. One, because my babies were, like, for twins, there were six pounds a piece, just about six pounds a piece. That's pretty big for a twin, but it's still kind of small on the smaller scale for like a, a, a singleton baby. So yeah. I'm being as delicate as possible, trying to put the strap on. Then I got to pull this strap over. I got to lift the butt, pull the legs. Up. Yo, it just was, you just forget all everything you've done in your past. Yo, let me ask you this, yo, because I just thought about this shit real quick. Do you think you know, some of the things you you were taught in life has to be, you have to learn those things early to at least be a good father. So like, for example, like, shit, man, like, I'm trying to think of something. I was just thinking about that shit and I fucking forgot. Uh, 
like for example, shit being being responsible, yo. That's yeah. I think that's the biggest shit, bro. Being there's responsible. Some, there's some shit you gotta. There's there, there's some some of your upbringing comes through in your parenthood. It's it's really weird how much you realize when you become when when once you become a newly like a, a new parent. Uh, how much you resemble your old, like your parents, like your your personal parents, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's so much shit that I had coming up my upbringing. I always made sure my bills are paid. I always make sure there's food on the table. Just the, the key, the, the key essentials to make sure that my family's good. Those that shit comes out of you out of nowhere, and you just be like, damn, I really just did that. Like, yo, like I just, I'm, I'm still, uh, we're still paying off Bo's. Uh, hospital bill but i'm like bro i'm paying shit off i just today i went shopping for the family like you just start don't you start providing for your family like damn i didn't even think that like it like yo. do some shit like this like it's just it's crazy it, you i still think i'm young so it's like when i do some shit that's like i feel that's like up and like over and beyond and i i get all butterflies bro I get all butterflies. Like today, bro, I was like, I text Ash. I'm like, yo, you want you ain't gonna believe what I got for all y'all. <laughs> like I can't bought believe, y'all shit. Bought y'all every day. I got Ashley some new workout clothes. I got Cassidy some dresses. I, yo, I bought dresses for the first time. I was like, yo, I'm officially a, a dad, bro. Yo, but you, but you know what? That like you just said, that shit came from your mom's taking care of you and just doing the right shit and that kind of flows down on you you feel mm-hmm. me so like that's what that's exactly what i'm talking about like the things that you learn the things that you nature to while growing up it kind of like flows down on you and then next thing you know you doing those same things for your kid like for example uh being affectionate you know what i mean that's something i think that's a lot of that's something that a lot of people have you can have a long conversation with that because not only men are not, I mean, affectionate, but women aren't either sometimes too. So, you know what I mean? It also, but then if you deal with someone that's like very affectionate, most likely throughout their childhood, their parents were very affectionate to them too. You know what I mean? So it kind of, it goes right back to what you were saying, man. Just like some of the things that happened to you in your childhood, kind of trickles down to you like just being a parent man yeah so let me ask you this question have you ever gotten to a point where like like for you instance like is there anything that like was like you've ever done that like that you like damn you i sound like my fucking dad or i sound like my mom like they're like for instance like for example earlier we were just talking off air like Bo, for some reason, my voice is very powerful in this fucking house. I don't know why I can't stand it because I I'm seen as like the ultimate punisher in this motherfucker. But I like I just I, Bo was doing acting wild, and I was like Bo, I was like, hey, 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 I hit him with that, and I was like, yo, bro, you sound like your fucking dad. Like, yo, you gotta stop. And I and I couldn't stop myself from doing it, but I was like, you know what? That's just how I was raised. You know what I mean? I would definitely say, man, for my mom, yo, just being a freestyler, she's a freestyler. And when I say a freestyler, she like, yo, she just let it go off the dome, man. Like anything, like she just lived life. You know what I mean? Like she just, she's the type of person when she like, yo, man, you got to live in the moment and, and, and not in the future or in the past, man. You just got to live now. So like, for example, like, you know, Nova might be doing something. Jasmine, like, yo, she shouldn't be doing. It. I'm like, yo, she a kid. So how does that how does that work between you two? Because like now you both got, you know, you Jasmine has her upbringing that she her values that she brings with herself. Yeah, with, and you bring your values that you have. Like, how does that how does that work in in, in the Brown household? I think at the end of the day, man, it depends on how like how critical it is you know what I mean like if it's her if it's her like for example if it's her last week it's like 70 degrees outside but it's like shit a minor wind I'm like yo she could go out without a jacket oh, Jasmine like yo nah yo she gotta have a jacket on this that and that I'm like yo she good she not we not going nowhere she she good and her 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 favorite line is like yo the way you feel about the weather might not be how she feel about the weather. And I'm like, yo, 
listen. Yo, this is so great. Yo, I'm so happy, bro, that I'm not the only person that deals with that shit, bro. Ashley, oh, Ashley, when it comes to the temp in the house, bro, Ashley will wake up every fucking five minutes if she has to to make sure that temperature in that room stay between 68 and 70 degrees, bro. Every Man, night that's, gets, that's more fucking cold in this house. <laughs> Every every night, bro. She's getting up at least three or four times, bro. Easily. I need a temperature. We'll go to the park. It'll be one gust of wind, bro. We got the diaper bag. She'll break out a whole fucking, whole new outfit. Kids walk around with snow jackets on and shit. It's always a whole 55 degrees outside. I'm like, bro, it's not that bad. They're okay. They're, they're, they're fine. They're okay. And then also with that is, yo, I feel like the way I am, like I said, with my mom is the same way I am with Jasmine. So like me learning or me seeing my mom always be like, just like free with stuff. Just like, yeah, man, just like, yo, you gotta live life, man. It's the same way it kind of trickles down with how I am with Jasmine and with, not with everything, but like minor things. Like, like I said, like going outside, we just sitting on the stoop, we chilling. You know, I'm just like, yo, just yeah, we good, yo, we living life, man. You know what I mean? Or for example, uh, you know, shit, I might uh I might uh have too much food on the uh on the uh on her plate or something. I'm like, yo, we good. We should we so got a plate, don't eat it. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? So those little things like trickle down from me learning from my mom, me seeing from my mom. And I think those things made me the man I am today. So not saying that that makes me a good man or a bad man, but I do believe there are some to you who you are. Ah, uh, exactly. And with that, and with that being said, I think it also is going to trickle down on your kids too, man. So and that and now it's and now it's coming to a full circle, though. You know, the whole the whole topic was. Do you got to be a good man to be a good father? But then at the, at the same time, if you're a good father, you definitely going to have some good kids, man. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the end goal, bro. The last that's thing the end goal, want, right? That's the, la the last thing you want is for your fucking child to be a damn degenerate of society. That's the last thing you want your kid to be. I got my, my, my one, Bo, is they, they'll be 20 months soon. Bo, I'm so fearful of sending him into society just because he's just, a, not to say he's a bad kid. He's just a wild motherfucker. I ain't going to say he's going to be out here getting the cops called on him, but he's going to do some rambunctious shit. I'm so scared to put him into out of our guard, but no, yes, no, I, I agree, bro. Cause that's a, and the end goal is to have a, a, a well-rounded kid and what in, not to say there's a, a specific definition to what is well-rounded you know what i mean like your definition of being well-rounded might be might totally be different different than what mine is um but what you think is 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 necessary for your child to know growing up in in in, in society so let me let me let me be the devil advocate now because you got to jump in put the one to two horns on the head so yo a dude that basically like for example, things are just not going good for him. He's just, uh, he's very disrespectful. I'm gonna I'm I'm put this on there too, man. He disrespectful to his family. So like, he's not really a, he's not really a good brother. He's not a good son. Mm. He, uh, he's not really a good friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, can that person, can that person magically transform into saying, yo, fuck it. I'm 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 about to be a great dad right now. Now you you can't well two <laughs> things. Two things. Two two fucking things. First of all, you gave me the toughest situation in America. You gave me it seems like this guy's a fucking dirtbag, but all right, I'm dealing yo, with Yo, hold on, hold on. Yo, I'm, hold on, hold on. Did, yo, listen, there's a lot of dudes that are dirt douchebags that are dads now. That's true. You're right. That I will give you. But what I'm saying is this. One, you you can't go into fatherhood saying, oh, well, you can say that you're going to be a great dad, 
but I'm, I'm a firm believer that you can't say you're going to be great at something if you never experienced it. Right. So for instance, like I, in my mind, in, and I guess another thing is that like, there's just certain departments that you can go into fatherhood and say that you'll never lack it. You know what I mean? Like you can go in saying, I'm never going to, I'm never going to not provide for my family in regards to food, clothes. My kids are going to be well-fed. You know what I mean? They're going to try there's certain things that you you can't you can say that you just you just know you won't do and you can achieve those goals. It's kind of like talking into uh, speaking into existence. Um, exactly. But if you got if if you if you're a dirt bag and you got dirt bag tendencies, it can change. It, one, it could change. It could go either way. Honestly, it could change because, like, like I said, once you see your child, it's a different story. Once but is you, that for every dad though? No, it's not for every dad, and that, that's why I said it can go one or two ways. Ah, uh, uh, okay. They can okay. go. They can go the opposite way. Bro could, bro could be the the worst fucking friend, the worst brother, the worst son, the worst boyfriend. He could be the worst at all things that comes to, uh, to emotions and relationships, and still have a child and not have a, that attachment. You know what I mean? And they can be like, "Well, fuck it. I have a kid, and it is what it is. I'm just gonna go on my way." But it's still a chance, though. Oh yeah, yeah. There's bro, there's always a chance in parenthood, bro. There's always I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. And no matter how bad you fuck up, bro, there's always gonna be a chance for you to to uh claim your moment. You know what I mean? Like the other I like that, yo. That yo, I love I love that way that you said that, yo, that because uh I feel like a lot of people, because they're not doing good in the beginning. They never think it's a chance for them to be a great parent. But yo, you knocked it right on the head, man. There's always, there's always time for you to be always a great parent. Always time, bro. And you're gonna and you're gonna fuck up. Like you're gonna fuck up. Excuse the, the big crack noise upstairs. I don't know what's going on, but you you're gonna you're gonna fuck up. You know what I mean? You're gonna there's I fuck up. I fuck up 24-7. I have twins. I fuck up. It's fine. They're they're not made of porcelain. They're fucking human beings just like you are. They ask you may hurt their feelings. It's okay, but you can always you can always fix that situation. Last week, I gave Bo the wrong milk on accident. Bo had, for for those who don't know, Bo has a fucking milk allergy. He drinks fucking disgusting pea milk. That's the it's foul in in nasty ass formula. It's a mixture. He likes it. Whatever. I'm fine. I put the bottles down. And I didn't give it to them on purpose, but I put them in the wrong spots at the dinner table. So Cassidy sits on one side normally, he sits on the other. I put his bottle on the wrong, on Cassidy's side, and I put Cassidy's bottle on his side. And what happened was Ashley came downstairs, picked up Cassidy's bottle that was on both sides and gave it to Bo. And Bo started drinking it. And I'm like, whoa. And she's like, wait a minute, this is milk. I felt like shit for the whole day, but it's okay. He's not gonna be mad at me because he doesn't understand for one. That's a blessing. You know what I mean? Like they, they, they know how to hurt and they know how to be happy, but they're so forgiving. So he understood that, but he was still, he didn't understand it rather, excuse me. And he didn't know what was going on, but he still was my friend. You know what I mean? He still was my son. He was shitting six times a day for the last five days, but you know, it is what it is, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like you just got to give yourself the chance. This is a, this is a, a occupation in a, 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 a a role in your life when you do have kids that you'll never be perfect at. And you can always think you are, but you never are. Bro. Yo, let me ask you this, yo, when I was also thinking about this too, when I, when I brought the topic to you, what was you thinking? Cause you said you was thinking something. Totally yeah, I was thinking different. some whole other shit. I don't know what the fuck was going on in my mind. Cause you was like, does a, does a man have to be, a, does he have to be a good man to be a good father? I'm like, bro, what, are you trying to like turn like a hoe into a housewife? Like what's the situation? Like I didn't, I didn't know where this story what, was going. Where, 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 were you, where did you think it was going? Like, what was your analysis of it? Kind of like how the dirtbag situation, like, does he have to be, does he have to have good morals and good like relationship skills up front to be a good dad? You see what I'm nah, saying? I think, yo, it, it's crazy because I think any, any way it goes, you starting off as a good man or a bad man or whatever, there's always that chance for you to turn a new leaf, man, yeah. be a new person. You know what I mean? Like, you can really, to be honest, 
yo, this is one thing that uh, I always tell people, man, like, my character to me is everything. You know what I mean? That's really, that's the only thing that I have that can, I, I can stand on. And I think when you become a parent, like, yo, you being a dad and you being a good parent, it's like one thing, like, yo, that's, that, that makes you who you are. You know what I mean? So like, as long as you're, you're hearing good things about you being a good parent, like, yo, I don't, I don't think that can ever take away from what you're doing, but it, it, it can kind of overlook or overshine some of the things that you do outside of being a, 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 a parent. A, a dad, you know? But you know what though? You brought up a good point though. You're not always going to get praised for being a good parent. You're nah. not going to hear, oh, you're doing a good job. There's no one cheering from the stands for you half the time, bro. A lot of times, for, as men, I, I guess it's the way we – I don't know if it's the, the the role of the man in society or what it is, but a lot of times, bro, you're not going to hear, oh, you're doing a great job. You kind of just You kind of just got to judge that for yourself, and you kind of got to own it. Like, I know my kids are very happy. My kids are comfortable in their house. You know what I mean? They don't feel threatened. I, I take their actions as my, my compliments, if that makes sense. Like, if that's the thing, I, I take their actions as my compliments, right? So, like I'm saying, like, if they're happy, they're never sad, they're always outgoing kids, they feel comfortable being in their home, that's my compliment that lets me know that I'm doing a great job. I take their actions as my compliment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to write that one down in the notes because that might be a gem. That might be a gem later down the line. It might, but it, it's the truth. It's, it's the yo. It's the truth, yo. And I was also thinking too, man, that even with even with the new leaf of you being a good parent, you also have to have consistency in it yeah. you know what i mean you gotta have consistency in it because it's easy to it's easy to quit because sometimes it can get difficult man oh, you get, it, it, yo huh? it could it could be difficult like you know just like how we were talking about like everyone you know thinks you know your kid grows up they start talking at this age or peeing at this age or using the bathroom at this age and that's what everyone thinks. But yo, when that shit doesn't happen and there's a roadblock, are you ready to put in that time and effort to, to get there? And that's what's crazy about parenthood, bro. That's the, 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 the one thing that I've learned is that there's, a, there's been plenty of times where I thought that I just wanted to give up and be like, I can't do this shit. Dang. Like there's been there's been for one for talk to me talk to me yeah, I'm gonna talk to you right now. There was one there was at one point, uh, Bo didn't couldn't sleep through the night. Like he didn't start sleeping through the night until he was about eight nine months old, bro. Like around like that's that's long as fuck, bro. For a lot of people, Cassidy she yeah. found her, she found her thumb at an early age. So when she when she would feel some discomfort with sleeping, she just throw the thumb in her mouth. She pass out. She still she walk around the house like this all fucking day now, even to this day. Yeah. But Bo cannot sleep through the night for shit, bro. Like it was bad. Like all the sleep training, we finally got a hold of some sleep training skills that we had to implement, and it worked. But it was it was terrible. And the nights he will wake up. So for instance, when we moved to uh massachusetts we were staying at ash's parents house ash's parents lived in new hampshire so we were living out of their basement so our house now got uh was yeah. finished up with the renovations uh he would wake up and start crying and then he would look at us directly like i motherfucker i know you see me crying like rock me back to sleep and there was nights where i would just stare at the ceiling and i'm like bro i cannot fucking do this i don't know how people do this shit I don't know if I can go go on another night. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna pull through, but some way, shape, or fashion, you pull the fuck through. And I think that's what's what people have to realize that like there's gonna be times where you don't want to do something, but you're gonna go through it and you're gonna do it. And then when you get on the other side, you'll be like, bro, it was so rewarding, rewarding for me to do that. So Yo, yeah. that, that's the best feeling, man. And I feel like, man, that's to me, yo, that like that, 
it, it might not be a character that you have, yo, but that's now a character that makes you not only a good, a good parent man, but a good man, you know. You know what I mean? And that's another valid point you just brought up. You know what I mean? Skills. Yeah, there's gonna be some skills that you learn as a parent that you can bring into your personal, your your personal being. So damn now, now we we hit the whole, we hit the circle of life for now because we say, yo, do you gotta be a good man to be a good parent? But damn, yo, you start being a parent, you can become a good man. Bro, this shit is the circle of life, bro. Lion King. This is the- it is, man. Cause then, like you said, man, you start to pick up on some things which you can that you can work on in life. Like you said, like yo, man, I was about to give up, man. But now you got the patience. You put that time in, and you like yo, damn yo. If I could put all this time in, you know, in my son and doing what I got to do and and be patient, shit. Anything else that's not even close to being hard as this, I can easily knock this out. Easily knock that shit out, bro. Easy, because yo, being a parent is probably the hardest job, man. Bro, it's a beautiful struggle being a parent, bro. It's and I say that in the sense that like it's a fucking struggle raising your children, but it's so beautiful that when you see the end result of your children, it, bro, it I it it makes me I glow on the inside, bro. My girl, my daughter, she smiles at me, bro, and I can't, I can't, I just melt, bro. I get the fucking mop out, bro. I just melt. You know what I mean? It and I know it's the same way for you too, because remember at the beginning. I remember you was a little disappointed you was having a daughter versus having a son. But now that you have a daughter, it's kind of like, <laughs> but now that you have a daughter, though, think about it. Like, yo, nobody doesn't melt, melt, melt GQ, bro. That's a, that no one, you can't, no one, that's a lie if you ever said it, it didn't. Yeah, she does, man. Like when I be looking at her and stuff like that, because she, you know, she got like a little, a little grin on her sometimes and. You know what I mean? Just looking at her and her smiling and her grabbing my hand, man. That should be that should be making me happy, man. Like I just I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to explain, yo. Like it's just a great feeling sometimes, man. Just for just to be vibing with her, chilling with her, chilling. watching her fall asleep. And she's turning it. And the thing about it is, is that and and you know that like they're picking up on things like your mannerisms, your your character, that even though they have their own character, they, they start to pick apart pieces they want to instill in themselves. Even at that young, that young age of one, like yeah. they start to do certain shit. Like, yo, Bo started laughing. Yo, the other day, Bo just, somebody did some funny shit. Bo threw his head back. He goes, now he goes, yo, I geek out every time he does that shit. And he, I know he gets it from me, bro. That shit is, <laughs> it's the funniest thing, bro. I gotta he get a video. Up on it. Yes, he picks up on shit, and they start, and that's the thing. Like that's the beautiful thing, and that's how you you can turn yourself into a, a, a from a whatever you are to a good parent. Like a, if you're a bad man, turn to a good parent. Like you notice your kids are starting to pick up on your good qualities. Exactly, and uh, hey, hey, yo, like you were just saying too, man. It's like like with me, like sometimes Jasmine, like today, she wasn't a uh, she's kind of like underneath me she's under the like the chills or whatever because she just had a second shot oh and uh so i'm like i'm like rub i'm rubbing her shoulder or whatever and anything i do to jasmine nova rose always wants to do the same thing so like if i'm like rubbing jasmine or like touching her head or something nova comes over she's like she gotta do something bro gotta do something yo and yo, like anything, like sometimes I joke with I joke with Jasmine a lot. Like sometimes I might like not like purposely kick her, but like sometimes I like, you know, kick or like do whatever. And Nova comes over and she's like, Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, do that, do that, do that. But they follow up on everything, man. Like everything you do, like even a laugh and stuff, yo, Nova's like, she's good for that too. She's like, hey. <laughs> I'm like, yo. You got to chill out, man. You got to chill, B. That's, you got to relax, bro. <laughs> you got to relax. Man. You got to <laughs> listen. You got to hear. Wait, you, you're, you're hearing me, but you're not listening, bro. Yes. Nah, but that's, I think that's what turns, that's what turns men to great parents is that they start to see, 
even if they got a even if they got a bunch of baggage with them, you know what I mean? Like let's be real, like not too many people grow up in the best situations. Uh but when they have children, it's kind of like, yeah, but it's like, yo, you, your child starts to pick up on your good qualities, no matter how fucked up your past is, and your kids gravitate towards the, the goodness of you. And that's what I feel like men have to attach themselves to, you know what I mean? Or those who come up from those rough backgrounds, they kind of got to go, like, you know what I mean? You got to look at your child and say, well, I know how to be a good, I know maybe I'd be a good provider, I know be a good caregiver or whatever it is. And you see your child taking those acts and implementing in their daily lives. It's kind of like, yo, all right, now you have a foundation to build yourself on and you just grow, you grow. You just got to perfect your craft, bro, when it comes to being a parent. <laughs> so let me ask you this, then why, why do, why, because I just, you know, I'll be just, I'm just thinking about shit the more and more we start talking. So why do people always put this on uh, their other spouses from not for not being a good parent when they say, yo, that person ain't worth shit? It's Cause now we explain now, we just talk just everything we talked about about being a good dad had nothing to do with a relationship with the other person. Nothing. Nothing. Not one yeah. thing. Did you not listen to, uh, I believe it was episode three? I told, and that's the fucking problem there. Everybody has to, for some reason, people combine parenthood with their relationships. Bro, it's two totally different things. You can't do that shit. And Tell them again, man. Tell them again. That's the fucking problem, bro. People, com I hate when people do that shit. People love to combine parenthood and their relationship together, and then it, fu and they get so lost in the in the minutia that's like you just don't you're not understanding the concepts of both so fucking lost bro and i i hate when and i see and the crazy thing is is that i see like i'll scroll through my timeline or on facebook ig and i see i see certain men going through certain shit but it's like yo i don't understand how she can attack you as a person it has nothing to do with how you parent your child you know what i mean like yeah, y'all had a fucked up relationship. Okay, I understand. I'm gonna I'm drop. I'm gonna drop a bomb. But you know, you okay? I understand. You may have, if you have, may or may not have cheated on her. Whatever, you weren't being faithful to her. That has nothing to do with how the fuck you raise your child. Right. Yeah, that man. Shit, that shit boils my blood, bro. I see some men go through it, bro. Because they their mother, their mother, mother their child just want to fucking hold that shit over their heads and women and women kind of have a way out of it. You know what I mean? Like some men, they get thrown on child support or the women keep their children away from the, from their father. Like that shit is not good. One for the father, but two, it's not good for the child. No, nah, not at all. And it's just funny because everyone you, we hear from a lot of people, not everyone, but just talk about, yo, you know, yeah, yo, you know, shame, yo, he, he did this stand the third to me. And it's just like, yo, but we just, well, what does that have to do with me being a good dad? Nothing you know I mean? has nothing to do with that, bro. Fucking nothing. And people, for some reason, they like to combine the two together because they, they, I, I don't know if it's because America paints a picture of this, of the American dream and mom and dad in the same household and children together and all that shit. It's like all combined into one. But it's literally two different things, bro. It's literally two different things. And that shit fucking kills me to see some men go through that shit, bro. I feel for them. You know what I mean? Like, how, as, I don't understand how some women can hold their child away from a man that's, that's done that's done right to their child. In that sense, like, I understand they may have fucked you over or there, there's something that's not right in your relationship that didn't work out and you guys separated I, don't, I can't speak on all situations because some situations are all di uh, different. Yeah. But if a man is generally being, if, it's, if, the, if, if, if a man is being generally good to his child and does, goes above and beyond for his child, maybe he didn't do that for you and that's why y'all not together. But if he goes beyond, above and beyond for his child, why are you holding him back and holding her and the child back too from, from their other parents? I don't know. It's just I've always thought about that though. 
Well, we 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 gave him a good example that that has nothing to do with it because we just talked for probably like 35 minutes strictly about a guy being a good parent and we didn't talk about the spouse not one time no. not one time that no. nothing had it had nothing to do with the spouse at all or the other parent you know no it, yeah you're right and in some situations if if homie ain't shit homie ain't shit you know what i mean like it is what i get that i some parents i understand that i understand that capacity but for those parents who for those for those once couples who split and then they and then the mother holds their child back for no apparent reason like there's no sense of like verbal physical god forbid physical abuse or some shit like that to the child and the child is very happy with that uh, with their father or whoever the situation may be what's the point of holding them back bro because that's just going to fuck them up down the road the child is not going to it's going to be it's just going to be a continuous cycle once again the circle of life it's a continuous cycle bro and you kind of got to you got to break the cycle at some point if you want shit to change nah you you definitely right but hey man this is solid man this was solid this is i like i like i like what we talked about today because it had a full circle about do you have to be a good man, a man to be a good father? But at the same time, it's like, yo, if you're doing what you're doing as a parent and 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 standing up and taking your responsibilities, you'll work, you'll work your way into being a good man. You know what I mean? You'll get those qualities to being solidified. You know? You can claim so, that title and you'll feel great about yourself. You'll feel so like, I'm not saying, like, I am the best parent, but when I accomplish some shit and I, and I didn't think I could, bro, I feel great. Like, I feel like I got a, I got a new, I got a new area. I got a new vibe to myself. I walk around the house. I'll be giddy as fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I just hit the lottery when it comes to my kids because it's very important. Parenting is a serious subject. And I think that we take it so we don't take it lightly. Some people would take it lightly and don't think it really is like a it's a real you know what I mean like a, a major part of someone oh a part major part of two people's lives as far as you and your child. But bro, it's serious. It's fun. I keep reiter- I've had to reiterate it every episode. I will think about yeah. it. You have you as a grown ass adult is taking care of another human and you're responsible to make sure they did that they do good by society. Yo, that's one of the biggest things we can do. And it's the most rewarding thing. Granted, you, you're going to want to kick them the fuck out the house. Yo, you're going to want to sell them. You want to get them the fuck away from you sometimes. But they're going to drive you crazy. But if they're not driving you crazy, then you're not doing your job. Bro, we dropping too many gems right now, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> too many, yo. Said too many. I gotta, I gotta chill out. I gotta chill out. We, we, we're heating up too. We're on over. We're, we're overcooking, motherfuckers nowadays, right now, bro. It's... <laughs> That's what they do when they be out on the camp. They got the wood going like this, mm-hmm. and then they start blowing it. They say. <sighs> Fire. <laughs> Fire, here we are. No. But yo, listen, once again, guys, thank you for tuning in, man. Subscribe, like button, all that, all the shit you hear other people say, please do that to us. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Everything, following us on the, you know, Instagram, diaperdad.dad. Diaper.dads. Diaper that dads. Yeah, I gotta get that yeah, one. You gotta get that one. That's why you leave it to me. Listen, yeah, yeah, make sure bad. you guys my make, bad. Sure you guys, make sure you guys subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I don't give a fuck what you gotta be doing. It takes two seconds to fucking subscribe. So subscribe. Follow us on IG, diaper.dads on the gram. Tune in. You'll see everything. You'll catch us, catch up with us. Uh, but bro, 
next episode, I don't even know what's what's going to happen, but it's it's getting scary out here, bro. <laughs> Back bro. Uh, in the words of my boy, my boy Bo. <laughs> I'm out, yo. We out, we out. We, we out, out, bro. We'll catch y'all next week. <laughs> <laughs>